Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the new LEGO 1950s farm pickup truck. Beautiful box art right here. You've got the pickup truck with all of its accessories and the nice sand green greebling along the bottom here. This set has 1,677 pieces and is LEGO set 10290. On the back of the box, you can see that it is a thumb tab box, and mine actually got a little bit beat up during shipping, but we have the actual size of the truck in the top right here, a different angle of the truck here along with all of its accessories, and images of the truck showcasing its different accessories along the bottom here, and the fact that those accessories actually represent different seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. The instruction manual is definitely what you would expect from a set of this caliber, 18 plus style packaging. You can learn a little bit about the truck and also meet the designer within the first couple pages. Then it shows you the different accessories in which the truck comes with and how they represent the four different seasons. This build here has eight stages and you can see what those stages create on this page here. Definitely a pretty advanced build and had a lot of fun building it. And it fits right into that Lego Creator Expert vehicle theme, which is pretty nice. I love collecting these things, and this one is absolutely fantastic. I'm actually surprised it took Lego this long to give us a truck of this sort of scale and caliber, if you will, because they're super popular, right? Like vintage farm trucks are amazing. They just look awesome, and this model does a great job of capturing all the different elements in which you'd expect to find on a vintage sort of farm truck from the 1950s era. These are the accessories right here, starting with uh, winter. So you can actually get this uh, reef here. This is a tricky little devil to put together. It uses some of those small Technic axles and some two by two circular plates in green. And they're sort of all held together by one stud and then they overlap. It's actually fantastic, I love that. And this can actually go on the front of the truck here. You can see there's available stud right there we'll go on the front and also comes with this present there is a spot actually inside the truck that will hold that present it's a one by two jumper sort of on the uh, passenger seat then we have spring comes with the steel milk canister which is a milk churn it's got a little sticker piece on there actually a unique little build there for that as well then we get the wheelbarrow with three sets of flowers so you get yellow red and white flowers sand green wheelbarrow those are all just held on there by some one by two jumpers but this thing was pretty cool as well obviously it's at the scale to which it's to be displayed i think it's fairly large i guess it's the right scale for the truck and then we hop into uh, summer right here you get the watering can i love the uh, flex tube as the handle there and the spout as well you also get two crates here or barrels uh, one that has some carrots and some turnips inside, I believe. And then also this one here with some apples inside that one. And then, of course, we have autumn. You get the crate here that's full of pumpkins and also this double-sided sign right here, fresh from the farm. And that's on a 6x6 six six tile piece with a sticker element, and then it says today's pick. So pretty cool accessories. Of course, all of these accessories can be loaded into the truck bed. Except for that wheelbarrow, it's a little bit large. Mostly you wanna put that on the side. I guess you can fit it in there if it's just the wheelbarrow on its own. But I think most of these items here you'd wanna display next to your truck. However, I think if you, you can pack all of this stuff into the truck bed if you leave the wheelbarrow out. And we'll do some experiments with that in this review as well. Let's have a detailed look at the truck. Starting at the front end here, definitely a lot of nice shapes that go into creating the hood. The hood opens up just beautifully like that there to reveal the engine. Nothing really moves in the engine other than this fan here, but you'd have to reach your hand in there to spin it. And as you spin it, this flower element will actually rotate as well. It's a little bit of a reach, but a nice looking engine there with the chrome dish. You also have like the radiator block right there as well with those profile bricks. The front grill has actually a print piece that says V8. Love how they uh, created the front grill with actually a gray claw. 
It's like an animal claw. See, there's actually 10 of them, I believe, five on either side. And those are spaced out using some of those spacers on a piece of flex tubing. That looks really good. You got the license plate there, same license plate on the back as well. That is a sticker element. And then you've got the headlights also with the signal lights as well. Very uniquely shaped body that really captures the look of a classic truck. The steering is in fact connected to the front tires. So as we turn the front tires, the steering wheel will turn. One thing that I actually really like about the steering in this vehicle is it seems to be not very sensitive. So you see how much the steering wheel actually rotates as you rotate the tire or as you turn the tire. So it's almost like the era before power steering, if you will. This is sort of fixed on there pretty good. You can take it off. It's just held on by a few studs, but actually pretty simple to remove, to tell you the truth. I like how there's actually a one by four space there that fits onto the windshield of the truck. And you can see these pieces actually sit on the windshield. So when you take that off, it's very easy to line back up just like that there and attach it to its studs. We'll leave that off for a moment so we can have a detailed look at the interior. The doors are really awesome. They've got a nice sort of resistance to them. And it's actually created by the rubber piece inside. And it just gives it enough resistance that the door opens beautifully and closes just perfectly. And it's just a seamless look. It is fantastic. There's also the running board here and a sticker on either side of the truck that says Green Farm. So on both doors, established 1932. So when we open that up, you're gonna be able to have a look at the interior here. There's actually a print piece as the speedometer right there. It's a fantastic print piece. There's a shifter right there. And this bench is just beautiful. There's also a skate blade on the door there to represent a handle in which you would open the truck from the inside. This bench is beautiful. I love the curves and the slopes and the tiles. Just a great combination of pieces went into creating that bench there. You've got the nice window there as well. So you can look out the back of the truck and the backside is nicely framed using some of these curved pieces here as well. I believe that's where the fuel would go in right there. We've got the dish elements there too that represent the uh, side mirrors. And there's the rubber piece that gives that door just the perfect amount of resistance so that it can just be closed so beautifully. It is just a flawless mechanism to operate these doors. It is actually awesome. I don't know if any other LEGO Creator Expert vehicle has such smooth operation like that. It is unparalleled, I think. And on the beautifully shaped roof right here, we've got a rear view mirror with a one by three tile element that's got a sticker and it's got a farm with the sunset. It's awesome, I love that detail. So we've got the roof back on there. The windscreen has a couple of sticker elements on either side actually, that's not printed. That little uh, red line detail there. Sort of unfortunate, but just make sure you Get it on first try, otherwise you can leave some dirty fingerprints on the clear sticker. We've got the step side style truck here, which is really nice. This was really well crafted here. I find it's very hard to get it perfect so you don't have all these seams here. You can see there's some visible seams in mine. But this component was installed and then these interior arches were also installed separately. And it created a little bit of gap there, but it looks awesome. This is like a side step style truck. And you can see there's actually these dark tan rails that were created using uh, plates and also tiles. And these are actually very easily inserted into place. So you can display it with the rails or without the rails and they're just sort of letting gravity do the work. So that is pretty cool. I like how they added the color and also some studs in the truck bed. Uh, the color combination of the dark red and the tan, or dark tan looks really good. And you've got some available studs there so you can actually put some of your accessories and have them fastened within the truck. The back end is amazing. You've got the bumper here with the sticker element with the license plate. On the tailgate that actually can be opened up here, you can see that there's an amazing Lego print piece. I love that branding. I mean, they didn't specify whether this is a Ford or a Chev or whatever, but they made a special 2x4 print piece that says the Lego. That's actually fantastic. Also, we have the rear brake lights there, the bumper, and the exhaust here as well. Uh, let's put some of these accessories into this truck. Okay, so we've put the Christmas reef on the front. 
and then the present on the seat inside. The sign and the wheelbarrow didn't really fit, but we fit all the other stuff just in the back here, which is pretty cool. I like how you have the different options. Me personally, I think I'm gonna display mine, honestly, without the reef. I guess if it's the holiday season, oops, that piece came with it, but if it's the holiday season, I might put the reef on there, but besides that, I think I'll just display it just like that there, and then I'll probably have the accessories beside it. Maybe some of the accessories, or the smaller ones at least, tucked away in the tailgate, but there we go. That's how the accessories sort of fit into the truck. I'm sure if I put the wheelbarrow in there, I could maybe file the sign like that beside it, maybe. But yeah, I mean, you can really do whatever you'd like with the accessories and uh, display them however you want with the truck. So there we have the brand new Lego Creator Expert vintage truck from the 1950s. Let me know what you think of this set by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future. Thanks for popping by and have a great one.